everybody at one point in time in your life to be successful you have to jump jumping is the hardest thing for people to do but you have to jump if you never jump you'll never be successful when you first jump I guarantee you the parachute ain't gonna open I promise you that but guess what eventually it does open and then you start your glide but it starts with the jump you have to jump man no matter how painful it is I got to keep going and I got to keep going because what is my passion what is my focus your focus and your passion will numb you to failure and to pain of striving to get to where you're trying to go I don't accept that I am what I am and that that is what I'm doomed to be. No, I don't accept that. I'm fighting. I'm always fighting. I'm struggling and I'm scrapping and I'm kicking and clawing at those weaknesses to change them, to stop them. This clench toward the battle, toward the struggle. And I fight with everything I've got to overcome those weaknesses and those shortfalls and those flaws. So literally without goals, you're directionless. You will be used. See, people without goals get used by other people who have them. People that don't have goals work for people who do. And so you want to be someone who picks up and gets clear about what you want. Make a list, 101 goals. I want to go to Paris. I want to, you know, skydive. I want to bungee cord jump. I want to play the guitar. I want to learn to juggle. I want to learn two magic tricks for the kids. I want to go to the Olympics in Beijing. Whatever it is, make the list. You have to delete all the negativity in the world and focus on things that make you feel great. So you could focus on a relationship you have. You could focus on how much you've already learned in the last six or seven or eight days. You could focus on the people that love you. You could focus on your ability as a human being to change your life at any moment in time. You have to be crazy in believing what your goal and your passion is. Because when something is crazy, even though it's crazy, you still do it, right? <laughs> Every single person is designed from infancy with special talents and abilities that if you develop them to their height can enable you to accomplish anything you want in life. Everyone is genetically structured to be able to do something superbly, to do something they enjoy, to do it well, and to get great satisfaction from it. The only difference is they've learned to use their mind and body with more power on a consistent basis. They've learned to manage their state. They've learned to use their body effectively. Whether they know it or not consciously doesn't matter. A lot of people do things without being aware of how they do it. And they've learned to control their mental focus. Remember, whatever we concentrate our focus on consistently and strive to learn from and make new distinctions about, we will get great at. I want to reassure you that you can do it. I want you to reassure you that you can make the decisions. I want to reassure you that no matter what the night, no matter what the storm, no matter what the difficulty, there isn't anybody here that can't figure it out, find some things to do, step at a time, yes. Minute at a time, yes. Day at a time, yes. Week at a time, yes. But there isn't anything you can't walk away from. There isn't any challenge you can't overcome. I want you to have that kind of belief in yourself. You've got to believe in yourself. You just have to. And then you do it. You see it, you believe it, and then you do it. Right now, you're at the worst place in your life that you've ever been. I believe that this is your beginning, but this doesn't have to be your end. 
that just because you are currently here, this is your present circumstances that life don't have to end for you right now. What is it that will give you the drive? What is it that will ignite the courage in you to get up and come back again and again and again? Your why? Your why is going to push you when you can't push yourself. When you want to quit and give up, your why is going to give you that edge you need, that advantage you need, that, that lift that you need to get to the next level. Your why? Yes, we tired. Yes, we're hungry. Yes, the mind is saying give up. Yes, it's saying quit. But we cannot quit because we realize we have not reached the goal yet. This is not what I said I was going to do. This is what I talked about. This is not the goal. This is not what I dreamed about. This is not what it looks like. I will try 100 times to get up. And if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. So I need you to believe. But if I fail, I try again and again and again. For as long as I try, there's always that chance of getting up. You can decide that you're going to stand up to life. And it's not the end until you've given up. There's still hope. You're going to work through this. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called me. You're going to have and you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you. Everybody that tried to stop you. Everybody that tried to kill your dream. You're going to prove all of them wrong. I use the pain to push me to greatness. And I'm telling you right now. Don't give up. I'm telling you right now. Don't give in. Get through it. There is still time. As long as there's breath in your nostrils. As long as you can wake up in the morning. It matters how you're going to finish. And you will find that strength to get back up. you still in the game. Which means if you're in the game. And there's still time in the game. Still time left in the game. You can still win the game. You can't afford not to be you. You can't afford just to go to work so you can get a check. You cannot afford not to see what your greatest is. You can't afford not to put your foot all the way down and see what you can get out of life. You'll get knocked down, but you won't be knocked out. I'm going to empower me and all of these things that are happening to me right now. They're just temporary inconveniences. They're not stronger than I am. You can't afford not to be you. You're going through some hard times. It has not come to stay. It has come to pass. It takes guts to pick yourself up. It takes guts. You got to dig down deep to gut it up. Keep on going again and again and again until you make it happen because you know that it's possible. And many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up. You can't give in. And if it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, you start fighting back. If life knocks you down, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen. That you don't give up. That you keep on keeping on. That you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. We have so much energy that can take us so far. It's necessary that you hook up with some other energy that can take you to the next level. Just go out there. It's possible you can get what you want. It's necessary if you want it, you gotta go into action. You gotta be willing to experiment. You gotta be willing to fail and to succeed. Here's your dream manifested. No, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right? It's worth it. It's necessary that you have a plan of action, that you're resilient, that you stick to, that you have the vision and never give up, that you become creative and relentless and keep on coming back again and again and again. And that it's you that you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. And that it's hard. Easy is not an option. And when life knocks you down, jump back up and say, it's not over until I win. you been?
an adventure or is it boring? Why are you here? What brought you here? Investing the time, the money. What brought you here? What decisions are you making right now as you look into the future? Where are you going with your life? I don't care how hard you fail. I don't care how many times you fail the test. I don't care if nobody don't believe in you. It only takes you believing in yourself to get this thing done. As long as you believe in you, you got the right mindset, you got the right attitude, you can have whatever you like. But if you fall, I need you to fall forward. I need you to fail forward. Now, are there going to be some moments when you want to give up? Yes. Will there be some moments when it's going to seem like it's impossible? The pain that you're experiencing, the disappointment that you're experiencing, that you're going to say it's not worth it? Yes, that's, that's going to be right there for you. It's, it's going to be in your face telling you to go back. But don't let the distractions distract you. All right, you got to keep moving. Don't stop. Separate what you do from who you are. That's what the guilt trap is about. All of us have made some mistakes in life. All of us have done some things that if we had them to do over again, we wouldn't do it again. A lot of things that if I had it to do over again, if I knew then what I know now, I would have done it differently. Well, it didn't happen that way. A lot of us, because of our limited vision of ourselves, a lot of us who begin to focus on problems and enable them to overwhelm us, we begin to think that we have no options. We begin to believe that there's no way out. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. And I'm saying that the fact that you're still here, that you're still breathing, you've got some more work and you owe it to yourself. So when you get up in the morning, that you can look yourself in the face and say, hey, I'm living my life on my terms. But I tell you, there are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up pretend that everything's okay when it's not and you go home and lay in your bed when no one's looking at you when you don't have to impress anybody and fear comes in you know the fear that you have as soon as you walk into the doors of your house maybe it's a broken home maybe you have doubt in your life maybe you don't know for sure what's going to be happening in the future and it scares you maybe you're about you maybe you're worried about what people think of you, what people say about you, just that fear paralyzes you. And I just want to ask you today, do you think you have hope? There are going to be times in your life where you are kicked down. Where you feel like you can't go on anymore. Where you don't feel like getting out of bed. Where you feel like you are beat down and the weight of the world is on your shoulders. And you're not sure if you could carry this thing anymore. I'd be lying to you if I said, I never have down periods. That I don't feel depressed, that I don't feel anxious, that I don't feel sad, that I don't feel like the world is kicking my tail. But you got to find a way. You got to find something to keep going, to keep pushing forward. To just give that little boost to push you through the day. To push you through tomorrow and the next day until you get out of this funk. You got to find something inside you to do it. You gotta understand that it's a test. It's a test of your will, of your grit, of your mental toughness. And the more brilliant you are, the more you will be tested. You fight through the depression, you fight through the anxiety, you fight through the stress, you fight through all of the negative, all of the circumstances around you, 
that are beating you down to your knees and you just gotta stand up. Listen to me very closely, you gotta hear what I'm saying. Pain is temporary. If you push through, the gates will open. That you will reach your goals, your targets, and you will become the best you if you keep moving one foot after the other, after the other. Pain is gonna take you to the next level. I know what you're feeling, but you gotta work through it. And if you work through your pain, on the other side is a reward. Your pain ain't permanent. You can get through this. You bigger than your pain. You better than that. I've been trying to get that into your spirit. I've been trying to get you to celebrate pain. How strong are you mentally to fight through this thing? You gonna work through this. You gonna get up, you gonna get dressed, and you gonna do what you've been called to do. You gonna be what you called me, and you gonna prove that everybody that tried to break you, you gonna prove them wrong. Everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dreams, you gonna prove all of them wrong. Anybody can be good when times are good. But when things are bad in your life, how good are you going to be? Because that's the test of you as a human being. Will you show up? Will you bring it? So bring it.